Here we are in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We've installed a Luckenvar wall hung boiler, a Knight XL, 125,000 BDUs. Been mounted on that wall. It's replacing a Copperfin boiler that was installed uh, with uh, a domestic hot water ether. Uh, we're using that boiler to produce domestic hot water with the RTV from Bradford White, which is an indirect fired water ether. Uh, with a stainless steel heat exchanger, so we got uh, uh, 52 gallons of domestic hot water and just that uh, that exchanger of stainless steel uh, containing boiler water which uh, heats the water uh, up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So you got the boiler supply, you got the aquastat to maintain the temperature, you got the boiler return, you got the domestic hot water supply and you got uh, the, the domestic hot water inlet and the domestic hot water supply right here. We've installed gauges for the pressure for the domestic hot water pressure. Uh, we got a pump to circulate the water inside the indirect fire water ether. We got a pump uh, to, uh, to, uh, to make the flow inside the exchanger of the boiler when it's, uh, when it's used uh, for uh, for uh, space heating and we got the space heating pump right there which circulates the water through uh, the baseboards inside the house. So we've installed all UPS uh, 2699 by Grandfuss which are three speed pumps. We got valve dielectric di flanges on all pumps. Uh, this is all brass even if it's just uh, a closed loop system. It's just to hook up to, uh, to the pump to avoid uh, connecting black iron pipes and and uh, and brass pipes or copper pipes we use brass to make a transition and where it's not possible we use dielectric units like this one that is the space heating uh, supply so uh, we installed that dielectric to switch from galvanized to copper you've got a thread decator which shows the pressure and uh, temperature of the boiler the gas line inside the boiler all the the wiring for uh for those pumps is hooked up inside the boiler and it's uh, those pumps are driven by the the circuit board of the boiler we got the water pressure regulator right there which maintains the pressure inside the closed loop system and we got all those drains we got a condensation drain which is pretty acidic uh, that one's tapped directly onto it because it's gonna uh, it's going to evacuate some some condensation water when the boilers rain, and those two ones, uh, we put them in a, in a reducer because uh, uh, we want to see if uh, if those pipes have water inside them. If they're evacuating water, it means that uh, there's uh, either an overpressure condition inside the boiler or or uh, the safety valve is defective. So the out the homeowner can can check very easily if. Uh, if those uh, safety valves are leaking. Uh, the space was an issue here. The oil boiler was was right there so it, it made a lot of space by hooking the boiler into the wall and uh, it doesn't show a lot here on, on the movie but uh, it, it made a lot of space to, to store things. Uh, the homeowner was very pleased that, uh, that we were able to, to save some space. Um, we could have saved more space if we use a plate exchanger for, for doing domestic hot water, but for residential applications and all that, we'd rather use an indirect fired water ether. So there's a reserve, and uh, if anything happens, it's, uh, it's a little less trouble. And the last thing is we ran the, the PVC pipes for the chimney uh, all the way up to the roof, which is PVC 636. There's a bleeder on top of the boiler, right there, to clear the uh, heat exchanger from all the air that could trap inside the, the Giannone heat exchanger. Well, that's pretty much it. This system has improved. Uh, that burner is, uh, has an efficiency of about 95%. So doing domestic hot water with that boiler will give us 95% efficiency on, on domestic hot water production and, uh, and space heating. Uh, all those baseboards here in the house are cast iron, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy to maintain a lower uh, 
supply temperature. Uh, the controller of the night boiler uh, is doing, it's like there's an outdoor reset uh, built in the controller, so there's an outdoor sensor and it senses all the temperature outside, so uh, it can adjust the, the space heating temperature accordingly. So that's pretty much it. This system is working great and uh, yeah, homeowner has saved a lot of uh, of money and fuel. Well, thank you.